this video explains in quite a bit of detail why it is that when you air tighten a uh, two-piece mouthpiece, which means, what's two-piece? It means it's got a, a mouthpiece and a slide. That's two-piece. Why is it that when you air tighten it, you not only have to sand the top of the comb flat, which I've done, but also lap, L-A-P-P, -P, the mouthpiece into the comb. Why is that true? Let me show you. Okay. Okay. This is the mouthpiece. The slide goes in here like this. And then this goes on to the harmonica, like this. Okay, okay now, <clears throat> watch. It's not snug. There's too much room. going on. Well, first, let me just say that that little wiggle noise you're listening to, up and down, that's a source of air leakage. Anytime it pieces, um, uh, it, you know, your harp doesn't have a, a close fit of parts, air's going to escape. <sighs> So here we went out of the trouble of, you know, sanding the comb flat, but we're still not home yet. In order to fix the problem, we have to somehow get this mouthpiece down so that the effective height of the space for the slide is tighter to the slide. Okay. Now you may have thought that the underside of your mouthpiece rides directly on the comb and that um, that was how it's constructed but it's not. Here's what's really going on. This is the mouthpiece, the part that touches your mouth. This is the inside. It has a stepped design. The first step is this step. That sets how much space will be left for the slide between the comb and the mouthpiece. Then you have this zigzag shape. Okay. This comes like this and like that. And this little thingy, that little thing there, that little piece of the mouthpiece in here, and I'll show it to you on the actual heart. This little teeny piece of metal right here running all the way along is what touches the comb. That's not very big, is it? Half a millimeter? What do you think? Three quarters of a millimeter running both ways. Okay. And so you see that this design kind of makes a gap and into that gap goes the slide. So how are we going to bring this mouthpiece in tighter? And the answer is you use a lapping compound. 
you put the compound on both sides on the inside here and you put it on the comb and go back and forth and you actually grind down the top surface of the comb only on that little teeny little channel area and it allows it to go down and to go down just a little further so that it has a tight fit on that comb or on that slide. So we can get rid of that play. That's what we want to accomplish. So we can come down just a little further. And then You won't have that extra space. That is how you fix it. And I'm going to demonstrate how to lap in the next video. But now you know there is a gap space set by the design of that underside of that mouthpiece to the top of the cone that leaves a slot just big enough for the slide. Why doesn't it fit tighter? Well, Suzuki would have to answer that, but I think they made it that way because their tolerances, not of the metal, which are quite close, but of the top of the comb are really, don't forget we had to sand it flat so it wasn't flat. That means it's irregular. They just don't want it binding up so they'll leave it a little big. And maybe they think Owners of harps don't know they should be airtight. Seidel knows that they should be airtight. Um, and, but it's just something to cut a little class. Give me any